Welcome to the Expression Engine 7.5 release video. In this video, we're gonna walk you through what's new in Expression Engine 7.5. All right, so let's get started with template generators. For starters, we can go over here to our entries or demo channel. We'll click on our single entry. Now, what you might remember from old versions of Expression Engine is if you clicked on the field short name here, it simply copy that short name into your clipboard. However, in version 7.5, when you click it, it gives you the entire template code needed to render that field. Similarly, if we go down here to our fluid field and we copy our fluid field name, it then copies in the entire template code needed to work with that fluid field. In this case, it's got the grid that we saw above buried into a fluid field. All right, that's great, Tom, but what about when I don't have a channel entries loop already? As you'll notice, this doesn't have the channel entries loop present. Well, in 7.5, you can also go to the channels page and click on the channel short name and copy the entire channel entries loop needed for a given channel. Similarly to this, if you go over to fields, you can click on any field short name to copy that fields template code. Or if you go to field group, you can click on the field group short name to copy the template code for every field inside of that field group. So we realized that when you're building a site, there's actually a lot more to it than just, you know, clicking to copy snippets, you know, to work with a given field or field group or fluid field or channel. But there's also things like, you know, building landing pages where you might have a listing of news entries or blog entries, and then being able to click through and see the details of a given entry. So we knew we needed to take generators one step further. And to do that, we created a new section under the template manager. You'll now see that there's this template generator section. If you click here, you now have the ability to generate a variety of different templates. So for instance, if you want to generate a member management section, you can click the templates you want, members list, members search, login, log out, forgot password, profile edit. Uh, and this would just generate them out and allow you to you know, pull that code into your existing markup. Similarly, if you have a channel entries loop, you know, let's say our demo entry, for instance, our demo channel, we definitely want a listing page and we definitely want an entry detail page, but we probably don't need a category page or an archive page. I don't think we need an RSS feed or an XML sitemap. If you click show comments, it'll also generate a series of comments inside of your template. It'll give you links to working with the docs that allow you to work with each of these fields on a much more in-depth basis. All right, so let's go ahead and hit generate here. Oh, I need a group name. So we'll just call this we'll call it CE demo. Perfect, generate. And what we'll notice is we now have our index and our entry. Let's go into index, we'll hit view rendered. And we have a simple straightforward uh, index here. Granted, in our case, we only have one entry. I'm gonna click it and we'd have our entry details here. So pretty straightforward. One thing I do wanna call out is you'll notice that what's generated from the generator section does have markup in it, where what's generated when you click to copy the control panel does not have any markup in it. All right, so from here, let's pull in Matt. That's going to walk us through how to use these generators in the command line interface, as well as how to customize them for our own specific use cases. So here we have our demo site. It's for Cody the Coastal Moose, and it's just a basic site. Um, and we've got two sections on the side here that we're going to build out today. We've got portfolio and hobbies. And if you click on portfolio or hobbies, it's going to go to slash portfolio and slash hobbies, but it's not gonna show you anything. It's actually gonna give you an error, and that's because we don't have a template group set up to handle this route. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the control panel, and you can see we've got two channels, hobbies and portfolio, and each one is going to have some dummy content in it. And we're just gonna generate some templates for this. So if I go into the template section, there is the new template generator section. And this is one way to generate those templates, but we're gonna be doing it with the, the uh, CLI. So if I go over here and we type in php eecli.php, generate templates and press enter, this is gonna be the interactive way to generate templates. Um, interactive meaning it's going to prompt me for everything that it needs. So I'm going to select three for channel entries and template group name is going to be hobbies. And I'm just gonna generate all of these templates. 
And then it's asking me for what channel I want to generate for. And I'm going to do hobbies again. And I will not do the comments. So that's just built a template group called hobbies with some templates in there that we can use. If I click hobbies now, we've got our listing and our entries. And let's go ahead and do the same for portfolio. But this time I'm going to type out the entire command. This is a demonstration of how you can use each one of these generators in a script and not have to interact with it. So it would be passing the generator name and each one has options, but we're going to fill in the options now and I'm just going to press enter. And that one built our portfolio templates for us. So I'm going to go back and take a look at the portfolio. So here's our entries. And this is what a entry page looks like for the portfolio. And I'm going to go ahead and actually show you what an, a new feature we have called stubs looks like. So these are great and all, but I'm going to delete them. And the reason for that is that we already have a we already have a site set up with a layout and things that we can extend and things that we can use. And so I'm going to go ahead and use that for the generator. Um, and everyone has a system user stubs folder that they can use. And you can just generate, you can just override the stubs that are used to generate content. And I'm just going to drop in my stubs folder. And this stubs folder just contains some HTML for each piece of content that I'm using. Um, it tells it what layout wrap, layout to use and um, just has basic HTML that is consistent with my site. And I'm going to go ahead and regenerate these templates. So this was the portfolio and I'm going to do the same for hobbies now. And if we go back to our site and I click portfolio, you can now see that we've got a completely different looking site. This is just using the stubs. Um, this is our portfolio lister, listing and our portfolio page. And then our hobbies is a little more basic, but we've just got a listing here. And when you click on them, it will take all of your content and, and put it in the page using your HTML. Thanks, Matt. Now I want to jump into what I would consider the most underrated feature in Expression Engine 7.5, and that is the simplified templating for field groups inside of Fluid. Let's take a peek. So what you'll notice here is I have a Fluid field that's called Contents, and in here I have an intro field group. It simply has three fields, two text inputs and a text area. One input here is called call to action link. All right, let's go over to our template. So the old way of templating this, you had a lot of tags. You had a my fluid field, my field group, and then you have this fields tag pair that opens and closes. And that would uh, literally iterate through each of your fields and let you use them and output the content. So this is an example of our specific field just to get the intro text and the call to action text out of it the old method. Now this still works, don't get me wrong, we're not getting rid of that. But the new method, which is infinitely simpler, has a simple contents open, which is our fluid field, open our field group, and call your two fields. So when we look at this, this is roughly a 60% reduction in template code needed to work with field groups inside of fluid. When you combine that with the removal of the fields tag pair, we have to manu or, uh, linearly iterate through all of your fields. This is an order of magnitude simpler than it used to be to work with field groups inside of fluid in Expression Engine. One of the things we've been working on for a while is introducing cloning throughout the core of Expression Engine. On 7.5, we took it one step further and now allow you to clone your menu sets. Use the jump menu command J, type in menu. Go here, we'll take a peek at this menu set. So menu set is your navigation throughout the control panel. 
to clone it, you simply go over to the save, use this drop down next to it, and click the clone to new menu set button. Create a new version of it, and we'll assign this to content editors. We'll also just rename it real quick. And I think we're gonna go down here and remove search from them. They don't need to see that. All right, perfect. Looks good, we'll hit save. And now if we go to our menu manager, we'll notice that we have our content editors menu here. It's a great feature to expedite rolling out your control panel menus to multiple role groups through the core. Another thing we wanna highlight real quick in Expression Engine 7.5 is a small quality of life adjustment. You can now go to the fields page and filter the fields by channel. So you can see all of the fields assigned to a given channel.